This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at antacids. Antacids are used to reduce excess stomach acid. The stomach contains hydrochloric acid that kills bacteria present in food and also provides the optimum pH for digestive enzymes. Excess stomach acid can cause health effects such as acid indigestion, heartburn and stomach ulcers. Antacids work by neutralizing the excess hydrochloric acid in the stomach, in neutralization reactions. Antacids are weak bases such as calcium hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide, aluminium hydroxide, sodium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate. Strong bases such as sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide cannot be used as antacids as they are strong bases and harmful to the body. Next, we look at the equations of the metal hydroxides with hydrochloric acid. The first equation is calcium hydroxide reacting with hydrochloric acid to form calcium chloride and water. The second equation is magnesium hydroxide reacting with hydrochloric acid to form magnesium chloride and water. And the third equation is aluminium hydroxide reacting with hydrochloric acid to form aluminium chloride and water. Next, we look at the equations of sodium bicarbonate and sodium carbonate with hydrochloric acid. In this equation, we have the reaction of sodium bicarbonate with hydrochloric acid to form sodium chloride, carbon dioxide and water. In the second equation, we have the reaction of sodium carbonate with hydrochloric acid to form sodium chloride, carbon dioxide and water. A group of medicines called alginates are found in some brands of antacid medication. Alginates produce a neutralizing layer which prevents acid in the stomach from rising into the esophagus, which causes heartburn. Dimethicone is added to some antacids as an anti-foaming agent to prevent bloating and flatulence. Next, we look at an example question. Compare the effectiveness of 1 gram of sodium bicarbonate to 0.5 grams of magnesium hydroxide in combating acidity in the stomach. So we'll start by writing the chemical equations for sodium bicarbonate and magnesium hydroxide with hydrochloric acid. As you can see from the balanced chemical equation, one mole of sodium bicarbonate reacts with one mole of hydrochloric acid and one mole of magnesium hydroxide reacts with two moles of hydrochloric acid. The next step is to calculate the amount in moles of sodium bicarbonate and magnesium hydroxide. Using the equation mass in grams divided by the molar mass. And here you can see the amount in moles of sodium bicarbonate and magnesium hydroxide. So from the balanced equation, we can see that 1.19 times 10 to the negative 2 moles of sodium bicarbonate reacts with the same amount of hydrochloric acid. This is because of the 1 to 1 ratio. So next, the magnesium hydroxide, 8.57 times 10 to the negative 3 moles of magnesium hydroxide reacts with twice as much hydrochloric acid. This is because of the 1 to 2 ratio in the balanced equation. So from these calculations, we can see that 0.5 grams of magnesium hydroxide reacts with a greater amount of hydrochloric acid and therefore is more effective at combating acidity in the stomach. 